All right, welcome back to Cricket for Americans. Nick here, and I am flying solo today to bring you my three wickets. I'm still going to call it our three wickets, but this is my three wickets on the match that I streamed at least half of it. We're talking about Australia versus India ODI match one. Now, we had a lot of viewers, a lot of subscribers saying, you're going to watch the match, you're going to watch the match, you're going to watch the match. It was on Thanksgiving evening for me, but I put in about, what, four hours or so, four and a half hours, and I enjoyed every minute of it as far as good cricket goes, as far as watching international cricket, as far as watching what these guys can do. But since I was rooting for India, whew, it was rough. It was rough. It was a, it was a game where Australia... Show me why Australia is Australia. I saw them in the, the, the middle mini tour they had against England. I think that was T20s. I don't know. There might have been some ODIs as well. And they were a little, it seemed sluggish at times. Not this Australia team. This Australia team was not messing around. I mean, they weren't messing around. Let me jump right into it. If you don't know, Australia, they won um, by 66 runs. They had 374 on six wickets. India had 308 on eight wickets. Australia won the toss. Captain Finch, he chose to bat. And it sound, I think he had said something like, it just seemed like this was going to be a quick wicket, and we wanted to get right to it. And it was a brilliant move by him. Brilliant move by him. Stephen Smith was player of the match. I'm surprised it wasn't Finch, but we'll get to all of that in right now. So let me start with what I liked, because there's a whole lot that I liked. There was a whole lot that I liked. Let me start on the Australia side. These players, besides Stoinis, right? Besides Lavishane, right? These guys, they came to play. They came to fight. They showed up in a street fight and they weren't messing around. They didn't even need the brass knuckles. They were ready to rock and roll. Let me just tell you the line. These are oh, I liked all these guys. David Warner. Okay? 69 runs, 76 balls. Strike rate of almost 91. He had six fours. A.J. Finch. It's funny they call him A.J. Finch. I just know it's Aaron Finch. A.J. Finch. 124 balls. He scored 114. Nine fours. And he got himself two sixes. Almost 92 strike rate. Those two guys, that opening partnership, were unbelievable. I want to say they had something like 140 runs as a partnership before David Warner got bowled out. by Caught by Raul. Edge to Shami. Questionable call. Questionable call. And, and we'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Questionable call, in my opinion, even though I was rooting for India. So David Warner goes out, and you have Steve Smith come in. How do you not love what Steve Smith did? Actually, before let me give let me give the captain some due. You're the captain of the team, and you lead by example by getting a century, getting 114 runs, getting the most runs than anyone in this contest. You lead by example. Now it did have a strike rate under 100. But this guy, there was times where we, I saw Aaron Finch of the IPL. Times where he seemed a little sluggish. He seemed his timing was off. And then he he survived from a few drops, a few near catches. But he made the most of it and he plugged away. He would go on a tear for about 20 or 30 runs. And then he would calm down and wait for it. I mean, it was a thing of beauty. Aaron Finch was absolutely amazing in this match. But Steve Smith, SPD, I was like, what does SPD stand for? Does that stand for suspended Smith? <laughs> SPD. This guy started off like the Steve Smith we saw in the IPL. Not confident. I did not think he was confident at all. In his first 15 balls, he had 13 runs. And there was a point where it was a leg, uh, LBW, leg before wicket. And the umpire, we'll get to him in a little bit, right? We'll get to them in a little bit. The umpire was calling nothing. He was having nothing to do with anything. If you wanted to get that wicket, you had to review it. He actually put the finger up for India. They were struggling. They couldn't get any wickets. Oh, my goodness gracious. They couldn't get any wickets. It was it was laughable. I want to say it was like the 20th over until they got the first wicket. He didn't want to put that finger. He put the finger up. And I thought, all right, finally, we got a wicket here. Steve Smith. Here we, And I said, it. here we go again. Same Steve Smith. Go sit down. Nice to know you. But Steve Smith talked it with uh, Captain Finch. And they said, no, we got to review it. They review it. And on review, it looked like it was really high in the pad. But it just missed the bales by that much on the tra trajectory. By that much. But it came out DRS is missing. 
And so he got another shot. And the very next ball, he hits a four. I think it was to the uh, the on his onside. Hit a four in the gap. And he kind of like took a few steps in the middle of the pitch. And he kind of like did something. He wasn't that exaggerated. But he kind of did something like that. And he just looked loose. Okay, it's like a like a prize fighter in the second or third round. They get that first punch, and they're like, "Okay, I'm loose. Let's go. Let's let's throw some gloves." Now, Gabe, I know you're, I'm not saying the terminology right. Forgive me, my friend, but that's what it reminded me of. Gets his bell rung a little bit. Okay, I'm ready to fight now. Let's go. And he just was a different Steve Smith. He was the Steve Smith that I saw in the test series, right, where they showed snippets and highlights of his uh, 2018, 2019 seasons. He was unbelievable unbelievable this guy could do no wrong he had 13 runs on 15 balls then he woke up got punched in the face a little bit got saved got off the mat and this guy went off to go 105 on 66 balls so let's let's do the math here that's 92 on 51 are you kidding me in it with a strike rate of 160 11 fours this guy every time you had you thought you were going to get him no i'm going to get a boundary four sixes he was Doing typical Steve Smith, unorthodox, but it was a thing of beauty. And I wasn't even rooting for Australia, but it, I do like Australia. I like those. I like those boys a lot. I like that team a lot. I don't care what format. I like Australia a lot. How do I not? After watching the test, but I was going for India. Steve Smith, absolutely love what he did. Glenn Maxwell, where'd this guy come from? I mean, that's the theme of this game. Where are these guys that play in the IPL? Where'd they come from? You know, David Warner was doing David Warner things in the IPL, but Glenn Maxwell couldn't buy a run. You know, he would show up to pay for his food and all he had was wickets in his pockets. This guy could not buy a run in the IPL. What does he do here? International, big stage, and not just that, but if you missed it, it was 50% capacity. They said it looked like 35%, but they said 50% capacity. There was fans in the stands. It didn't get as loud as I wanted to be, but they still got pretty loud. They saw themselves two centuries. But Glenn Maxwell shows up. 45 runs, 19 balls. Five fours, three sixes, and a strike rate of 236. Almost 237. Well, well, it's the big show. I mean, this guy showed up. Now I know why they call him the big show. I saw him go for a century in the tour against England, but I didn't see this Glenn Maxwell. Strike rate of 236. Thank you very much. Holy cow. And then even, even Carey. I mean, even Carey for crying out loud. He wasn't phenomenal. But he didn't go down like you expected to do him right away. He was not out when their 50 overs were over. 374 people. And the whole time, it was like the first 20 overs, they had like 106 runs. And everyone's like, this is going to be a 400 run match. I'm like, what are you talking about? 20 overs. We're 40% in. They only got 100 run. You guys know cricket. You guys and girls, you know cricket. Almost 400 runs. So at, at rooting for India, and that was the end of my stream. It was midnight. I was going to go to bed. But I'm not going to lie. I was still a little bit awake. And I wanted to see India bat before I fell asleep. So I turned off my stream. I turned it on the TV. And I was playing some video games. Uh, PC games. Waiting for them to come on. And then India, they got 20 runs in the first over. 20 runs in the first over. Holy cow. And it, it became exciting. We're going to get to that in a second. What else did I like from Australia? There's a whole lot I like. What about the bowling side? What about the bowling, Nick? The bowling side. Holy cow. man named Hazelwood. I saw him briefly. Um, Doney barely let him out of the cupboard in the IPL. Hazelwood, 10 overs, 55 runs, three wickets, three huge wickets. Three huge wickets. You don't believe me? Agarwal, King Coley, Shreyas Iyer. And then guess what? You know, Stark, he got himself a wicket. He, he, was, he was struggling his first five overs. Oh, he was struggling. And then he ringed it in. <laughs> Six wides. Jeez Louise. Um... But Zampa. Zampa, who had a huge drop. Who did he drop? Dewan or something? No, Coley. Coley. Huge drop. It was horrible. He goes in and gets himself some four old, four wickets as a spinner. An economy rate of 5.4 as a spinner against India? Zampa's out of control. He, I love those guys. Love those guys. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, don't forget about Stoinis. Yeah, he got a golden duck, but this guy got an economy rate of under four. And no wides. No wides, Stark. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, unbelievable. So much to like. On the India side. So, like I was saying, I was watching. I was playing some games, and they got 20 runs. I think they got like seven on wides from Stark. 
20 runs in that first over. Wow. And then they and then Dewan and Agarwal, they were cooking. They were making sweet music. And then Agarwal goes down. Hazelwood. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Catch by Maxwell. Hazelwood gets him. King Coley comes out. And King Coley started hot. He started hot. Got six. Got a two-four. Well, actually, he got dropped by Zampa. And then one of the next two balls, he hit the six. It was to his onside. It was straight. I want to say square drive or something. I don't know the terminology. Straight, perpendicular, nine degrees. And he hit it, and they showed that little hot spot shot of the x-ray. And he just had this look. He hit it, and he had swag, and he just looked at it. I was like, ooh, Coley's cooking. I got back on the stream. I titled the video, I want to see King Coley. And I thought I was going to see a Black Mamba moment where he was going to drop 80. He didn't. What did I like from the India side? Dewan. He had a huge drop. Give me a break. Huge drop. And I said, I'm disappointing you, Dewan. Your feast or famine in the IPL. I'm disappointed. You owe me 60. He got me 74. Thank you, Dewan. You are forgiven. He got me 74. 10 fours. Four. He's playing golf out there. He had 10 fours for crying out loud. King Coley. Not king today. I'll get to you later. And then Pandya. I did not see this. I was asleep. Hardik Pandya. Good night. 90 runs, ladies and gentlemen, on 76 balls, 118 strike rate. Seven fours, four sixes. Oh, I wish I could have seen th those, those things of beauty. I wish I could have seen that. Batting side, that's all I liked. There wasn't much else to like, unfortunately. They still got 308. It wasn't too much like early wickets on the bowling side. It wasn't too pretty on the bowling side. High economy rates, all except for Shami and Jadeja. Jadeja, I love that hair. Rocking that hair. He bowled well. He had about four almost calls. I'm not going to say blown calls. I think one should have gone his way. But four almost calls. He almost had a four-wicket day. He had zero, unfortunately. He, uh, 27 dots. But Shami, I mean, Shami, he's, he's a low economy rate guy. He got three wickets, low economy rate, 30 dots. That's how you do it. Only one wide. That's how you do it. The man Shahal gave it 89. Ouch. Right? But Shami, really loved your performance. Jadeja, you did really good as well. But who did I really like as far as the fielding side? Because India had some, oh, we'll get to that in a second. Tough fielding. But they had great fielding by KL Raul for the most part. He did a great job catching the edges. Didn't drop. It was a gimme behind his back, but you're still backpedaling a little bit. But he caught it. Didn't have a lot of catches today. That's what I like. What I dislike? Not much dislike on the Australia side. Didn't like Stoinis. I, I mean, I, it laughed. I laughed because someone in the comment section like, oh, Nick's watching this. That bodes well for India when Stoinis comes up. And what did he get? Golden Duck. I mean, I, I watched it on, my, on the replay of the stream. Cracking up. I was dying when he got that Golden Duck. Absolutely cracking up. That was hilarious. Didn't like that. If I'm an Australia fan, Labashane, I was excited to see this guy. I know this guy can rake. I know this is an up and coming. This is a young guy. He idolizes Steve Smith. He'll do anything for a Steve Smith bet. This guy, he, uh, no, he wasn't that good. Didn't like that at all. Didn't like that at all. From the bowling side, what did I not like from Australia? Stark and Cummings. Those are your two big boys. And from what I see on the outside learning about cricket, those are your two horses. Those are your two horses. Stark, he caught me ready to seven. That's not going to cut in the mustard. He didn't even get his 10th over. Six wides. He had, There was three no balls in Australia. Stark, Hazelwood, PJ Cummins. Pat Cummins. It's funny how they had a middle initial here. Did not like Stark's performance. Cummins started off strong, not, not too great, but he reigned in a little bit. Six and a half economy rate. Maxwell, he's not really, he's not there to bowl, right? He had economy rate of eight, had the highest economy rate. Those are the things I didn't like. Those no balls. Ouch. Can't have those no balls. India had two of them. What did I not like on the India side? What lost India the match, in my opinion, was Captain Finch choosing to bat. Brilliant idea. Because India was not ready to field. Oh my goodness gracious. Gabe would have had a field day. No pun intended on this one. They couldn't field. People in the comment section said they had the 90s jerseys and they're feeling like a 90s team. I thought <laughs> that was pretty funny. I guess they had bad feeling in the 90s because the feeling was atrocious. They were so tight. They were so tight. They were messing up balls. Even Coley, too. Right to the wickets, right to the legs. Where'd it go? Easy ones that were grounding. 
they had about three balls that were just barely out of the reach. Barely out of the reach of the fingers. And you're like, okay, that happens. You know, not an easy catch. But then you watch the replay. And if here's the batsman, and here's the folder, and here's the boundary, the uh, the fielder, the boundary. They take a few steps in, and then they backpedal, and they miss it by a little bit. What was with those angles they were taking? Why were they coming in? Why were they coming in? If I had to make a gut check decision, I'm going to step back. If I'm not sure, if I can't judge it off, I'm going to step back first because coming in, I can use my momentum to dive forward even though it's not a comfortable landing as opposed to backpedaling and trying to catch it that way. Three different times it happened. And then there was a few drops. DeWan's drop. There was another drop. I mean, the fielding was atrocious and there was just so many bad routes. There was one, oh, I can't remember who it was, who was just fooled by the angle. And me and Gabe saw that on a video that either we posted or we haven't posted yet. Took a bad route to it. Went, went by him. He's right there. How'd that get over there? I thought it was going to be right here. The fielding was atrocious and it cost them the match. Steve Smith, 13. 13. Right? Leg before wicket. Couldn't buy that. That's my second point. 13. He went on to get 100. You guys are going to kill me. You're going to say the umpire was fair. How many calls did they say, nope, not going to put the finger up? Not going to put the finger up. That could have been. How many calls made no sense? David Warner, you got screwed. And he knows he was smiling about it. Whatever. He got screwed. Okay. I did not see it on the hotspot. I need to see that before I make this blatant statement. People in the comment section said the hotspot, you can see a white dot. I don't, I don't, I didn't see them go to the hotspot. I see them use the ultra edge. The bat hits the ground right when supposedly the toe, the toe of the bat, boom, barely nicked it. And the ultra edge, and they called him out. They might have used hotspot, and I didn't hear it. Got hosed on that. But I just felt like the umpire didn't want to give any wickets whatsoever unless it was clear cut evidence. And then the one I got excited about with Steve Smith, it was too high. Like, I don't understand what was going on there. It was weird. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I know I'm going to sound like Gabe right here, but may have been hanging around too much. I didn't like it. Did not like that. I got to do it. I got to do it. I got the hat on. I was rooting for the squad. I'm going to keep rooting for the squad in this tour. But I got to do it. Farrakh Kohli, he's not right. He was not right in the IPL. They were singing his praises when he was uh, he got that six early on before he went out. The commentators were saying this guy is the king of ODIs. Maybe the best ever. He just plays differently in ODIs. He's still IPL Coley. They needed him to get a, a century, which is a lot to ask. At least get us a half century. They needed him to bring up big. I heard from everyone in the comment section, he can chase, he can chase, he can chase. 21 on 21. And when he went out, it was like he tomahawked that thing. It like when the bottom half of the bat, it went right to the fielder. Right to Finch. I mean, right at his head. Boom. Horrible way to get out. He was being too aggressive. He was swinging at everything. He wasn't taking his time. And I get it. I was saying in the stream, I get it. It's that black mama mentality, that Kobe Bryant mentality. When you're hot, no one gets the ball. You keep scoring. And I think that's what he wanted to do. He didn't let, um, who was it? Dewan, I think, on strike at all. It was all Coley on strike. I'm staying on strike. And I love that. I love that intensity. But you can't be over aggressive. This isn't T20. This is ODI. Take some time. Calm down, brother. We got plenty of time. Did not like that. Did not like Shreyas Iyer. He did not look right either. He only saw two balls, but he just did not look right in the field. He did not look right at the stumps. I'm worried about that. I didn't like KL Raul's performance either, batting. 12 runs on 15. Jadeja, 25 runs on 37. And I get it. I get it. There's so many wickets before him. Six wickets you were trying to protect. I get it. He only saw 37 balls. But, I mean, look at this lineup. Agarwal, Dewan, Coley, Ayer, Raul, Pandya, Jadeja on the batting side. And, and you couldn't muster um, enough to chase. They got 300 runs, which probably would be decent in most opportunities. But this is Australia we're talking about. In Australia, they were cooking on all cylinders. I did not like that. I also did not like someone made in the comment section. Great, great point. They only had five bowlers going. So they all had to go 10. If one of them was having a bad day, <coughs> sorry, Shahal. I love you to death, but give me a break. You had no one else to go to. You had Pandya. They didn't even think about putting Pandya in there. 
I saw an article today that said that maybe they're saving for 2023 World Cup. 2023? <laughs> I mean, I'm making myself laugh. I kind of lost my mind right there. But 2023? That's three years away. Can we get Team India a, a, an updated calendar? This is 2020 right now. I know COVID's messed some things up. This isn't 2021 or 2022. This is 2020. He's not going to bowl for the next two and a half years because of the World Cup? That didn't, that didn't make any sense, but they didn't even think about, Cole didn't even think about looking his way. I'm not looking at you. I'm just looking in that direction. <laughs> what did I learn? I learned a whole lot. I learned a whole lot. ODI is a different animal, and I like ODI. It was fun. I'm so used to T20 at this chance. I haven't seen Tess in a while. Can't wait to see that. But what did I learn? I learned so much. First thing I learned, and you guys are going to say, duh, what happens in the IPL means nothing about what happens in ODI international cricket. And I'm just gonna, I'm not going to say T20 because I haven't seen it yet. It means nothing. AJ Smith, Aaron Finch, or F not Smith, Finch. Didn't see this Finch. Didn't see that Smith. <laughs> I definitely saw that Stoinis. Didn't see that Maxwell. Okay? What happened, I'm, mostly for the Australia side, what happened in the IPL for these players, it does not matter. These guys were beasts. Man amongst men. Manong's boys, they were out of control. This might be their best match they have the rest of 2020, but man, they came out on the batting side and they just put their foot on the throat and they did not let up, led by Captain Finch. He is such a different guy. He looked 10 years younger out there. He looked calm and collected. Very, very impressive with Finch. Very impressed by Finch. What I learned about the India side if Coley's not right, it's going to be a long tour. Test matches, ODIs, T20s, and I understand he's got a baby on the way, so he's not going to be there for all the test matches. It's going to be long. Where's Rohit Sharma? Are you fit yet? Are you ready to go? Are you healthy? They need him bad. If this is the Coley we have, if he cannot get right before he goes on paternity leave, we need Rohit Sharma right now. As if he's right there, he's not. Um, they, they came out flat. They weren't prepared. And Coley said before the match, he said, you know, you can't come into, <laughs> you can't come into, oh, it's my feet, sorry. Can't come into Australia not ready for that street fight. You can't come into Australia not ready for the challenge. Your team wasn't ready for the challenge. They weren't. And they scored 308. They weren't. The bowlers were not ready for the challenge at all. And a lot of the batters either. This was an exciting match. Australia, they showed who they were. If you're an Australia fan, you really, really enjoy this. If you're an India fan, you're worried. You're looking at this is this is the look you had in your face after about the the thirtieth over on Australia's inning, and about after the twelfth over on India's inning. It was tough. So many catches. So many catches. Agarwal was caught. Dewan was caught. Kohli was taught, caught. Ayer was caught. KR Rahul was caught. Pandya was caught. Jadeja was caught. Shami was the only one that was bowled out, but walking wicket there. Warner was caught. Finch was caught. Stoinis was caught. Maxwell was caught. Labashain was caught. That's why those drops are so important. Gabe says it all the time. Catches win matches. Those drops are horrendous. But it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys if you joined me. I am more than likely planning on checking out tomorrow's match. At least the first inning. Um, whole lot of fun. I enjoyed it very much. A lot to work on, but it's not the end of the world yet. India, you got to get game two. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with me what you think about some of the things I've said, what your thoughts are on this, what do you see going forward. And as always, thank you so much. Until next time, adios.